Hi, I'm Jeff Carnes. I'm one of the urologic surgeons at Mayo Clinic with a subspecialty interest in prostate cancer diagnosis and treatment. I'm here today to discuss prostate cancer screening. The first question that comes up is, what is prostate cancer screening? What that usually means is screening uh, using a blood test called PSA, which stands for prostate-specific antigen. It's a protein that's expressed by the prostate that's in the blood and can be measured by a simple um, blood test at your local doctor's office or hospital. PSA um, routinely has been done on a yearly basis, sometimes more frequently, and should also be coupled with a prostate exam. We know that the PSA is not perfect at detecting prostate cancer. Uh, however, it can pick up prostate cancers when the exam is completely normal. That being said, a PSA can be normal and there still be a prostate cancer. Hence why there's controversy regarding prostate cancer screening, specifically with the use of PSA. As you know, PSA is not perfect. PSA um, should be used in the context of the overall patient's life, overall patient's risk factors, such as ethnicity and prior family history. Prostate cancer screening in large clinical trials have shown reduction in the risk of dying of prostate cancer for those men that were screened. However, the trade-off is that a lot of men are screened and diagnosed and treated where some of those men may have never need treatment. What I mean by this is that there is a risk of being diagnosed with an indolent prostate cancer, i.e. a prostate cancer that may have never caused that man's symptoms or led to that man's death, but they still undergo treatment. Since we do not have refined methods to determine at this time whether that constitutes a lethal prostate cancer. The treatments can have side effects such as erectile dysfunction and leakage of urine, what we term incontinence. So being diagnosed or going under the screening for prostate cancer and subsequently being diagnosed with prostate cancer may have important ramifications. I believe that prostate cancer screening should begin, or at least the discussions should begin starting uh, with a man in his 40s. There's a lot of rationale behind this. This stance is also supported by the American Neurologic Association and the National Conference of Cancer Network. Usually, the PSA can be done on a yearly basis, once again, along with a rectal examination. What we would like to avoid is men just going, standing in a line at a county fair without really any knowledge of what the prostate cancer screening means or what PSA means. That being said, on the other side, prostate cancer screening saves lives. And it's important for you to discuss the issue of prostate cancer screening with your physician or be referred to a urologist or another uh, subspecialist in prostate cancer.